Hi, my name is Christopher Guerreri, and I will be demonstrating how to draw a Lewis structure of a polyatomic ion. Um, the polyatomic ion is phosphorus dioxide with the chemical formula PO2 with a negative electrical charge. Step one is we're going to count the total number of valence electrons by adding the valence electrons in all the atoms in the ion. Um, if the ion is, if it's an ion, which it is, we're going to add one electron for each negative ion. And since we have a negative charge, we're going to add one um, electron at the end. So um, we're going to dissect our ionic compound right now um, to find out how many valence electrons are in each atom. Um, so in phosphorus, we have five electrons. How do we know we have five electrons um, in our valence electrons? Is because when we look at the uh, periodic table, we identify uh, phosphorus um, as having five valence electrons. One uh, valence electron, two valence electrons, three, four, five. So phosphorus has five valence electrons. So we're going to put that there, five um, we're going to count five valence electrons. Uh, the next atom or ionic compound, we have two oxygen uh, valence two oxygen. So we're going to identify oxygen on the periodic table elements and we see that oxygen has one, two, three, four, five, six, six valence electrons. And since we have two um, oxygen atoms, we're going to add them together and we get a total right there of 12 um, valence electrons for the oxygen, the two oxygen atoms. And then back in step one, we um, learned that if we have a ion, which we have a polyatomic ion, with a negative charge, we, we have to add one electron. So um, if you look right here, we have five from the phosphorus, we have 12 from the oxygen, the two oxygens, and then we add our one from the electrical charge. And we have a total of 18 uh, valence electrons. Step two is we're going to um, draw our skeleton of the atoms and connect with a single covalent bond. So um, I have our skeleton structure here. We have a phosphorus atom with our two oxygen atoms um, connected by a single covalent bond. Step three is uh, we're going to subtract two electrons for each single bond from the total valence electrons, um, which we have 18 obtained in step one. All right, so we have two single bonds, and in each single bond we have two electrons, so it adds up to four electrons. So we're going to subtract the four ele electrons from our total of valence electrons of 18 and we end up with a net electron of 14. So we're going to use those in step four we're going to distribute our net, net electrons. Um, so you can see here that I besides our two um, single bonds I added 14 more electrons um, but the problem right here is we're missing two electrons here to complete this uh, uh, noble gas structure that we need. Um, so step five says that we need to change our single bonds between the atoms to either a double or, or triple bonds to try to make it complete. To try to get all of our 18 electrons on the structure. All right, so then you can see here that I changed one of the single bonds to a double bond, and um, that seemed to have worked. So now each atom is complete, 
has a complete noble gas electron structure, which is our ultimate objective. Um, oxygen right here has two, four, six, eight, which makes the oxygen atom complete. Uh, the phosphorus, we have two, four, six, eight electrons, which makes the phosphorus um, atom complete. And then we have two, four, six, eight oxygen um, uh, atoms, which makes that oxygen atom complete. Okay, so um, so step seven right here. Get rid of this. Step seven um, is a step that I added, and let's see what it says here. It says a molecule or ion, which is what we have. We have an ion. Um, polyatomic ion that has multiple correct Lewis structure shows resonance according to our textbook. So um, that means that our let's see what it says our polyatomic ion is a resonance structure because we can mirror flip the structure and it will still be the same substance. So you can see right here um, our polyatomic ion can be um, drawn in two ways and still be correct. And um, I have the example here. So you, you see the two uh, single bonds, the double bond right there, and you see the double two, uh, the, the double bonds right here. And they were mirror flipped and they have two kind of different structures, but they're still the same substance. And then uh, you write the um, you write the sketch for a resonance structure with these two uh, brackets, and we have the negative electron. Elect we have the negative charge for um, it being a negative charge. All right, thank you very much.